Chapter 4, probability. It's a totally different topic. It's not based on the um, sample. It's not based on the data. Um, we just discuss about the probability. You knew what is the probability, don't you? Let me ask you, when I toss a coin, what is the chance I will get head? 50%, yes. It's a 50-50. Tail, head, 50-50. When I'm rolling a die, what will be the chance I will get one? Okay, yeah, that is a good question. Six faces. One out of six. Okay, next time I will bring is any other dice is later. Yeah. But basically, um, six faces, the fair die, yeah, we can expect one out of six. Yeah, that is a probability. So in chapter four, we are going to discuss uh, the probabilities. It's a little bit Details, it's one by one. So, it's absolutely, we are going to discuss the probability. For the probability, first, we have to define some things. The first one is the experiment. Experiment is, it's a simple, toss one coin, it is an experiment. Rolling a die, toss two coins, select one of you, they are the experiment. Based on the experiment, we can expect the event to get head, to get one. I will select female student. That is the event. So please look at this um, example. In this example, we are rolling two dice. Rolling two dice, it is an exam, um, experiment. Rolling two dice. And here is the outcomes, 36, 36 possible outcomes, six by six. We call them sample space. Later, we are going to define the sample space but it's actually the sample space is a collection of all possible outcomes. In this experiment, we can expect 36 possible outcomes, sample space. Now here, the sum of the dice, I mean the sum of the outcomes is 11. It is an event. Now here is a definition. Here is a definition of the event. It's actually it is the sum specified results. Sum now the sum is eleven. Who makes sum eleven? Six and five. Six and five is only one. Five and just a second. Uh, did you say six and five? I'm sorry. Six and five. Where is the six and five? Six and five. Only one? Five and six. You know, actually an event is a subset, a part of the sample space. You know, the sample space was a collection of all possible outcomes, the biggest one. Event is a part of the sample space. So now I can say the sample space, I mean the event, I'm sorry. The event, the sum is equal to 11. It is a five and six, six and five. Two outcomes out of 36, event. How about the next one? Doubled. The doubles means same two numbers. Who they are? One and one, double. 
and 6 and 6. So now I can say the doubles is will be 1 and 1, 2 and 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, and 6 and 6. How many? 6 outcomes out of 36. Subset, a part of the sample space. They are events. Okay? So, uh, we define, yeah, we knew the probabilities, but um, in chapter 4, define experiment, sample space, event. Okay? You know, in this case, we are rolling two dice together, and the example uh, 4.3 suggests us 36 possible outcomes in the sample space. But do you know what is the, do you like gamble? Gamble, game, you know, casino is here, there, in Oklahoma State, you know. I, I, I was from Oklahoma State University, Stillwater. Anybody live in Oklahoma State? You know, the Oklahoma State is the heaven of the casino, you know. Yeah. <laughs> do, you know do you know what is the name of the gamble? We are rolling two dice on the table together. You love gamble. <laughs> <laughs> Crabs, right. Yeah, have you ever seen, do, have you ever played? No, honestly? Yeah, yeah okay, good. But, but we, we, have, we have seen the gamble movie or drama, rolling to dice. You know, in Crabs, we are rolling to dice exactly same size and exactly same color. You know, in this example, please look at this picture. One die was red. The other one is the black. But crabs, we are rolling exactly same size and exactly same color to dice. How do you think? In this case, here is a two and one, and one and two. In crabs, same color, same size. Can I say they are different? One and two, two and one? They are same. So in the experiment, crabs, two and one, and one and two, they are same outcomes. We have to delete one of them. How about the other one? Three, one, one, three. Same in the experiment. Delete. Always we have to delete half of them. It's not exactly half because on the diagonal, one and one, two and two are doubles. There's, there's only one, even here or there, right? So now we have, I have to delete this one, this one, this one, and this one. It's like this one. This makes sense? So in the experiment, crabs, how many outcomes? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 21, and 22 possible outcomes. What I want to say, when we determine the sample space, it quite depends on what was the experiment. In this example, rolling two dice, one was red, one was black, we can expect 36 possible outcomes. But the other experiment, for example, is Krebs, we can expect only 21 possible outcomes in the sample space. So we should understand what is the experiment exactly to get the sample space. And also the event from the sample space. So at the beginning, carefully, we should understand what was the, the experiment clearly and determine the sample space correctly. And based on the sample space, we can think about some events. And then from the event, we can take the probability.